Houston Texans are at home week four feeling very money, Trent, and they actually do know it. It's still going! Back! He's gonna go all the way in! <laughs> they welcome the Pittsburgh Steelers to town, so Houston fans, best to leave all your 99 jerseys at home for this one. No need to egg him on. In trouble, T.J. Watts, loss of nine. First order of business for the Texans. If they want to give C.J. Stroud a chance to keep his flow riding for a third week in a row, keep T.J. Watt off of him. Good luck. Two more sacks last week, three more QB hits. Garoppolo trying to step up. Can't get rid of it. Gets bent. Look out. Bent dangerously. Pittsburgh's pass rush is more than Watt. Alex Highsmith is a big-time threat off the other edge. Steelers gobbled up Jimmy G four times, hit him eight. That is a 309-pound man with that move right there. So now they go after Stroud, who wasn't hit much last week, not sacked once. Stroud to throw in the end zone, and juggling, he held on. Zero sacks, 40% pressure rate faced. That's really high, and he's faced over 40 through three games now. This could turn into a playing with fire kind of thing. Stroud in trouble, has to dump it off. A low throw and incomplete. Stroud's performance under heat is what makes his last two weeks even more impressive. Steelers face a dude who dropped 380 plus yards in week two, fat rate, no picks, then on the road in week three versus Jacksonville, 280 yards, over nine per attempt, two TDs, no picks, rating near 120. Floating one deep and running underneath, tank down! He makes the catch! Steelers DBs dealing with wide receiver Nico Collins, huge week in week two, quiet week three. Robert Woods chips in, he's the vet of the group, but it's the Rook who will draw the most attention this week. Steelers have to be able to stop a tank. Dell went for 145 yards and a touchdown week three. Stroud to throw the blitzes on. He floats one wide open, and there he goes! Tank Dell! All the way in! Hey, Pittsburgh just got gouged by Devontae Adams, gave up over 170 yards to him. And looking downfield for Devontae Adams! He's got it! Touchdown Raiders! They also gave up 85 yards to Jacoby Myers, allowed 324 yards to Garoppolo. How good was Jacoby Myers in that opening game? Lightning quick, couple of touchdowns. Give him a chance. Okay, but Stroud also faces a defense that held Jimmy to a low 70s rate because they picked him off three times. Their corners, Patrick Peterson, Levi Wallace, can punch back. He collapses around him and he throws an interception. Levi Wallace cut in front of it. Run games for both teams, X factors. Hard to say what either will get. Aside from a touchdown, Damian Pierce is still stuck in the mud. 2.2 a run last week. Pittsburgh's back, Najee Harris finished under four yards per carry in their game versus Vegas. The Steelers' ground game has yet to lead their offense in any game, so let's talk Kenny Pickett, who comes in with some confidence. Pickett to the end zone, fire move, touchdown! Pickett started clicking late in their week two game. It carried over to week three, almost 240 yards, two touchdowns, no picks, a rating near 100, best game of the year. Second game in a row, he's connected on a long touchdown. Pickett Calvin Austin hauled in that bad boy, but the picket to Pickens connection is where you start if you're Houston's secondary. George looking to make it three good games in a row, 75 plus yards back to back games. Pickett, and he throws a slant on time and on target. Pickens, he's all silver and black. Texans defense didn't dominate Trevor Lawrence. They didn't sack him, gave up close to 280 yards, but they picked him off and held him to a sub 90 rate. And that is intercepted at midfield. Blake Cashman diving for the takeaway. Houston would also love to win the turnover war again. They also picked up a fumble in their win, not turning it over once themselves. And then Eric Murray comes up from that safety spot and puts his helmet shoulder pad right on the football knocking that thing loose. This is TJ's first trip to his bro's old stomping ground since his rookie year. He was good back then, but now he's in his brother's company as the best D player of his era. Texans are starting a new era of their own. Can Stroud shine on you crazy diamond against the Steel Curtain 2023? Let's see what you got. It all goes into the comments section, but remember, you can watch live games, NFL Red Zone, NFL Network, and more on mobile on NFL Plus. Check that out.